you never know what, quite what you're gonna Hot get. And cold. Yeah, it's it, it's very individually driven. That's a good nade. Good <laughs> move. Oh man, double nade. Robs the oh, shot. Is leader in the yikes. back of the head with his investment, and that is ugly. We've spoken about the woes for mouse sports with their orping prowess. Started with Carrigan, back to Chris J, and now we're not quite sure where that one lies. But look at this, pushing up middle. Four ah. members of Astralis are going to flank this one through. Yeah, hey Zipex, do you mind keeping them busy for us? Yeah, watch this. I'll smoke them off as well, boys. Take your time. They are crossing, though. There's no way you expect four players flanking right, long. Look at this. Like, he just has to be Gandalf. He might even flash them. They're not going to push this position. Here they come. And Glaive reveals it. And now from Gandalf he appears. Yikes. This is a pain train. And it has absolutely no breaks. Beamer's trying to derail them with a plan. It would be something, but yeah, he's gone. Just a four kill Glaive round. No issues coming in from Long. The rest of his teammates there for moral support. Magisk. He's got a grenade. Does he want to dunk it? It does mean the bomb carry is low and Glaive finding one elsewhere, but they're into the site. That's the bomb loose. Glaive has done exactly what he was needed. Robs is holding this window push. If Glaive overextends, he's not falling foul to that, though. And they've got so much util on device. If he could just molly that on the retake, deny a lot of the sweeps they have to do on their flight pass. Device is getting further back to line up his util. He's got two flashes, Chad. I imagine they just push off this. So molly tons. Just loved like, it a little yeah, bit. It doesn't go where it needs to, but the flashes should be good. That's one and two through the window position. Rob beats them up and Bemis. Oh no. Got one. Glaive's fully unloaded his mag. It's all onto one man. Device to clutch. Rob's so low. <gasps> needs to adjust. Oh. Have the spray Rob's. What a round that is from the Estonian. Robin Cool gets tagged up. Are they going for the mid to B? Oh, yes, they are. They know they've even landed a scout tag. Magis confirms his. Worst fears are becoming a reality. This is a mid to be against Deagles. It's Dupree and Magisk though, and their Deagles have connected. Oh dear. Rob's trying to bail him out, swinging into the side needs. One, and Dupree's Deagle has found two at the 29 health mark. That's a mess from Zipex. He'll get the assist. Dupree just lining him up, knocking him down. This was only supposed to be a bit of damage, and it's around Astralis. They can count on Dupree. Deagle and a scout. Look at Dupree using the smoke to close the uh, MAC-10. Effective range, good stuff. He starts well, but Zipex still doesn't finish the job onto the low HP Bemis. This is a tussle. Yeah, and they're trying to pivot back. Magisk hasn't left B. He's been told by his teammates that he could expect company. Glaive holding the mid-cross, and that should be the frag, and spots the leg of another. Glaive so low, though, he'll be finished off nicely, but Magisk does punish the swing of rocks. <laughs> And that's another save coming in from the Danes. Magisk, good work. So many flashes delaying it. The Dribble Smoke does come out. Carrigan's ahead of it. And Magisk doesn't win his duels. Device then has it all to do, and the smoke is going to bloom. Oof. Does it spell trouble for Astralis? Do you really want to try and retake? They do like to play the percentages, but they're also so close to it. Look at Frozen. Yeah, he's on short. They need to claim it. Actually, they've just called the cancel. They should go for this now. They have a four on three advantage. You'd think that's enough for Astralis. The percentage is now. The scales pointing towards a potential retake. It's so hard to break through. Chris Where's only Glaive has a scale, though. Good question. He's actually going around the world. All the way to finish tunnels. It may be a little too little too late. They do have kits on Zipex and Glaive. Beams is holding the doors. Push the flash was good enough. And Dupree's in. And the frags keep coming. Oh, oh what a retake. Astralis do make that look easy. Starting to heavily favor Astralis. It's a pace change. They're going out long. It's the four-man lean. There's trouble. Lots of nades, lots of damage. Magus, he's able to make short work of that. The utility, it just nukes mouse sports out of the server. I actually dropped the smoke of his own so they can't walk up. That's a good way to lock them out. Really good. They push through, though. All the same. Anti-flash. They're running out of time here. Mouse need to get the bomb planted. Zipex is not in any oh. rush. Magis just continues to keep their eyes elsewhere. Dupree has yet to fire a bullet, and that is why. Baited in by two members, and he gets a double himself. Just Carrigan, he's on the list as well. Dupree. Oh. Punishment, brutality, and seven. Short and CT, it's a rare combination for the push. Here they go. Another drops down. Dupree's got to focus on Frozen. The flash is good. Oh, great flash. Such a good flash. Dupree could not contribute. Now they're into the site. Oh, adjusting. Knows where they... Bomb is as well as that orb, and Chris J's gone. Oh, go on, Dupree. Bomb down, oh, and Bemis as well. A massacre from the Great Dane. He needs one more. Give him the ace. Carrigan wants to deny it. He can clutch up himself. He's so low. 
Dupree trying to use the Deagle. Needs a one-shot headshot. Cannot defuse with Kerrigan on that ramp. Where's Magisk? Swinging in with him. Hunting him down. And oh. they find it. The War of Attrition is won. And Dupree pops off. And look at this. They are reading Mousebots like a book. They've gone with a three-man B lane. They are worried about a B hit or a mid to B split. And that's exactly what Mousebots look like they're doing. They're going straight in. Okay, Dupree playing anti-flash for Ops. He's got a gap, though. And it costs Magisk his life. The trade's not there. This gets awkward, and it gets awkward fast. Rops, great work from him. Glaive could make things awkward, but he's missed his shots onto Carrigan, and so looks like it might just be Astralis cutting their losses. A great B take, converting a second round and keeping three AKs alive. I say three. Yep, Frozen. He's dealt with the uh, Zipex hunt. Rops was so noisy about that. I, I don't understand how he got away with it. That's wild. Very, very crazy scenes to open up the site, but that's Rops who's been the hero in the two rounds that Mouse Sports have been able to now put on the board. Double smokes deployed. That is faking the mid to be. Demos to commit or at least make something to convince them. Oh, lovely. Pulling out util. Zipex, however, has caught the long prong. And on the re-peak, he confirms the bomb's long. Stralis get the info again. Carrigan walks up, needed that. Could get device two, but pulls the trigger nicely. So the numbers maintained for Astralis. And they've got 60 seconds here. Bemis with so much Just ground covered. Going. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Dupree backs into B. Oh. This is the fight right here. Oh, no. He's going to... He can win the round right here. Rops is not ready for it. Oh! oh <laughs> from Dupree. His first shot was not accurate, but taps and then commits to the spray when he's happy with it. And so Bemis giving it a go, hoping for a device miss. Yeah, not going to happen. I'd have to pray for a device miss. Nobody long. Zipex will translate that information, but Magisk, you've got so much work out for you. He wants to drop a smoke on the site, and that works. So does the nade, but he's going to get swung on. Zipex, not enough. Magisk can get a double. There is more from the flank. Glaive's uh, timed it to perfection, oh, and just as he turns around... Get him out. This isn't fair. It felt like they had all of the control. Glaive's flank on short was not being held. And now long, which was previously not held, has been punished. Rop swings around. Into the 1v1. A bit of health advantage for Glaive, but I wouldn't write Rops out of this one. And he's been hunted. Needs the one tap. Glaive finishes his meal. Now here comes the B take. It is Dupree tucked into that corner. This could be a difference maker. Feels like a difference maker. But it was all on Dupree, though. They're coming, spraying wildly. Rops has found another crucial frag. And now B is Mouse Sports. They cross in. Glaive's trying to catch a timing. And the only real candidate would have been Frozen. But he's heard them push through mid and they've faked the steps, hoping that Frozen starts to push. And he has. Beam us down. That's a start. Frozen's being held. Zipex spotted. Chris J low. That's the push. Zipex has found it. It's all onto one man. Rops, the hero previously, continuing to be just that. One more frag. He's buying time. So much time. He's won the round. Zipex just doesn't have the time. 11 to 4, the final score of our first map's half. Whew. They really want Bemis to confirm it, but he knows the underpass has not been held. He's jumping desperately for any form of info. Gets nothing so far. And into the doors, and Frozen gets double goosh. Oh, dear. Oh, look at the pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Not ready for this. Not at all. Carrigan can have a look, but Bemis... Uh, 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 oh, no! The Glock at range has let him down. That's why you get the P250 for fights like that. It's a mess. Two devices is going to be kicking himself, but Carrigan has gone down all the same. The pressure's still on. Bemis lives for a moment before Dupree plucks him out of the air with a quick click. That's three. He has just come into this pistol. He's coming to Dust 2 with a point to prove. Against the old leader of the orgs and t-shirts he wore. TSM, question mark. Dupree knows Kerrigan very well. He's making quite the statement against his old teammate. That's a good shot. Make it a quad kill. Why not? What feels better than nine assists, though, is a 16 to four. So let's see if that's... Possible as devices out long. He's has a couple kills. Carrigan's flash. This timing is everything. Might get caught. Pants down. And there you go. First, second. He's going to find them all. Device just mauling them on the timing. And Carrigan's left standing looking like a bit of a fool. Device with four. And it's just Rops, the man without a plan. Oh, he's made the sound cue. Dupree makes it very clear where he's coming from. Gives Mr. Cool a chance. But no, not to be. So Astralis. But they can set up their smoke towards doors, their Molotovs towards the They've side, their flashes. B, so they have to be concerned about that. There they go. Nice. First down. 
trying to deter them. Doesn't check it, doesn't check it, doesn't check it. There's a gap. Tension drawn one way. And Frozen oh. doesn't go down. He's got a molly. That's important. Frozen needs to get out of dodge. Finally goes down, but the frag is there. Kept busy. And jumping through the smoke. That ain't easy. Zipex, last one on the chopping block. Rops collects and Mouse will win a crucial and necessary round on the 19th. Not just taking occasional glances, but Kraken's off angle. Oh, he gets it. What a shot. Good moves as well. Elevated angle, Glaive wasn't ready. Forces out some incendiaries, forces out a lot of util. Carrigan's burnt down to three HP. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> he didn't mean to do that. No, nope. it looks good though. A one tap of sorts, Carrigan finished off by Magisk. And they're actually changing their plans. They do plan to hit A. Bemis has been staring at Long this whole round. He's gonna be excited to see some action. Chris J tucking in as well. He's just moved as well. Look at Zipex coming through Long. Oh, what a shot from Chris. They're hitting everything they need to. Zipex though. That long presence, Chris is vulnerable. Dupree needs to hit his shot. He's been good at it. Zipex does well. Finding it now gets awkward for Mouse. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Device is under pressure, oh, but he hits no. his shot. And Dupree wraps it up. That could have been different. So close to finishing off the job onto Device. And Chris has spotted him, so it's only gonna really... Look at the space they're taking. He even gets a frag. Oh no. Oh dear. Committed to short. Can't hold long with Deagles, but now Carrigan's just in limbo and he realizes this is going to be a bomb plant. This is going to be a retake and it's with a scout, an AWP, and some Deagles. Flashes on Bemis could be crucial. Is this it? Rops, good moves. Oh, but Device has taken him down. Glaive was ready to do the same. AWP's been picked up. They're playing hot potato with the zoom banger. Toes visible. Oh, they can't even advance, Alex. They can't. Frozen does hit something, but... Yeah, this is horrible. Throw in the towel. What? You've got to do something. Frozen. Breath, please. His toes visible being pushed, and that cost Glaive his life. Great to see greed from the Astralis boys, but they're just so happy. They know they've done it, and they've done it convincingly. Trying to knife him. Yep, 16 to 5. Device coming in hot. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Can't find it. <laughs> it's 16. A dominant showing from Astralis. Even giving themselves a pat on the back and a round of applause. That's Dust 2. That's Mouse Sports pick in the bag. We'll be here to break it down in a moment. Can't get swung on from Yard. Has to drop back. And quite the passive approach from Mouse. They're just going to walk out squeaky door. Molotov. They're holding the vent drop aggressively. It's to retake top. Oh, look at Frozen go. Three of them just going a queue on top of his head. Well, three dead should be the round. It was a great positioning from him. He does try and fake the sound cue, but there is already a Bob, Bob, uh, a man there in Rops confirming their suspicions that it's all smoke and mirrors. Has Bemis heard this? Is he on high alert? Well, they've definitely seen him now. Oh, Magus, down to 25. Someone tweeted me just now actually saying, uh, Alex, you know, trying to say I'm wrong. Uh, they said, hang on, let me get it right. I've heard you advocate the P250 over the Glock on pistol rounds for accuracy. I want to let you know it's the Glock is more accurate. My, I was, I usually say damage fall off. Maybe I, I misspoke, but yeah, damage fall off is the upgrade. But it was close. So if they're picking back in, surely there's a reason to do so. Look at this. Frozen wants the info, and he gets more than info off the flash. He swings in long range MP9. It seems like Mouseport's plan to disrupt the nuke T side of Astralis has come down to aggression. And oh, Zipex not checking his corners. Glaive does trade. Molly Wolf stop Chris J from getting more info. Oh, he's, he's pushing? Yes. Yes, Chris. More and more information being translated. And oh, Dupree's getting outranged by the <laughs> MP9. Frozen. It's not that for the first time we've seen some long range MP9 action. That's two of them in the round. And maybe Device. Oh, he wasn't expecting Carrigan coming up the vents. A good swing. And Mouse Sports, they are really twisting the knife now. By keeping these players alive, they've still got an AK-47. That's still Glaives from round two. They'll keep hold of that as much as they can. An AWP in play, and AWP gets all perfect weaponry for the job, and just a half-health Glaive holding for Carrigan's push. It could be a start. And a nice crouch from Carrigan makes it all the more difficult. Look at this. This is the dream start for Mouse Sports, both fragging and rounds. Yeah, Bemis. We'll have to turn this flash. And now he can fight. Perfect, perfect from Bemis. He gets two, tucking in. The fragging does come back in favor of Astralis, but it's always the Carrigan vent arrival that's got them many times. This time he only gets the one, so Frozen. They know he's the yard player, and Glaive tucking into Tetris for now. Device on that squeaky line. You win this. Oh, he's won the first duel at what cost, though? 30 HP. 
Frozen started off Nuke so strong. He can clutch up now for Mouse. 10 kills, needs his 11th. Glaive, paranoid. Timing. And the execution. Glaive holding his nerve in the line. You can hear the nades starting to come. Trying to find a safe haven. Carrigan does evade the molly, but it's all smoke and mirrors and perfect. Rob's to be tested now. He's on ramp and he's done well to fire off a dink. Glaive working with three HP and he's got Zipex on the drop as well. Rob's, he's so calm, but it does get overwhelming. I like Frozen's position here. He could be on for oh, a multi kill. The spray is good. Not good enough. And Bemis on the top site revealed he's still there. Look how low they all are. Does Bemis go for this? It's a youngster. Does he risk going for a retake in this kind of a situation? I just said, oof. Could have been a Mouse Sports round, but that's going to be the third now for Astralis as they march forward three consecutive after a great start from Mouse. Move towards heaven. A late 30 seconds. Oh, another flub jump. Could we stop? Chris hasn't reacted yet, but... Props must know, surely. Yeah. Props? Props? Didn't hear it. Okay, well, nope, not going to be punishing that today. Chris has got to react. Carrigan does as well. That's heaven starting to be an issue. 20 seconds. Gets awkward if Dupree doesn't find that frag. Bemis is on the site. A flash will force him to turn away, and that's a good frag from Bemis. No one could punish. He gets his vision back. Device overwhelms it with a swing on the P250, and they get that bomb down with three seconds to spare. Oh, no. A miss from Chris and a chance gone awry. It's only frozen, and he's coming in from the ramp room. A little late to the party. Chad, you were asking me the other day. I was like, you know, it, it's a 50-50. It's a coin toss. Probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. Not your usual defense. There is a lot of casualty already for Astralis. They're making lots of sound here, making it very clear what they intend to do. And, oh, Device hits the toes of Frozen. He gets tagged to Got one. It. Maybe Astralis can win this, but it feels like Mouse Sports, especially doubling up on this decon push. It comes down to fragging, and they're going to peek behind this flash. Glaive, both there. They get them both. No way. He loses a lot of health, but that could practically seal the deal of the seventh T round. Chris is working on a push as well. Glaive wants the info. He's gone down. Will he expect Dupree? Nice shots. One on one. Bomb ticking. A fake. And Device. Oh, rather Dupree confirms it with the door jiggle. Trying to knock off that defuse. He's going to call the bluff. Oh. And Carrigan's got time. Huge stuff from Carrigan there. It's Big win. Defuse. Yeah, we're very well done. I cannot believe. Tied things up. 6-6 six, six, going into round 13. The buys are good for both sides, but ramp progression rocks. You're about to be caught. No, what? Mm, Course sounds, corrects. Yeah, great adjustment. Aha, uh, uh -huh. bomb spotted going lower. Rops can convey it. Oh, he doesn't hit the shot just yet. Dupree completely unknown. And Rops, what felt like a potential disadvantage could now be even more. No one expecting this frag and boom. One shot is all he releases. Blave's been in warehouse this whole time. If he could just catch that first vent rotate he's even mollied it and rops continues to be a thorn in their side finally Huge. he needs a shot from device but it is all on to device he has the util not only to get the bomb down but to escape doesn't use his smoke and that cost him his life uh, i don't think he was expecting so many bodies on the scene so quickly and that by rops he's dancing with the devil right there no one's in front of that wall, but Chris is... Oh, that's a frag and a half, oh, isn't it? Oh, mate. Oh, Glaive. Oh, mate. He's just opened up the half. He's opened up the round. It's two early frags on the Mouse Sports defense in the top side. Bemis is holding the line. Oh. Dupree just denies it. And this one, red-faced. It's a bit embarrassing unless Carrigan can dig him out. This is good. This is really good. They're dropping low sight. He did get dinged down to 19, but they have got some space now. A bomb plant and device on the AWP. Where do you play your after plant? With a bomb planted so poorly for ramp, he's going to hop for decon. decon. Yeah. And it's a close quarters engagement. It will enable him to lock down Carrigan's rotate through secret, but he hasn't gone for it. Instead, after faking the steps, he's opted for vents, and that could be Zipex's freebie. Can't get freer than that. And Robs is walking in from ramp. You you know where he was previously. He can't go for this. Yeah, he just doesn't have the utility. That right there is such a rough way to go for Mouse because you look at the buy that Astralis came into that round with. They're going down vents. Flashed his teammate on the way down. <laughs> and Vemus, there we go. Now he's caught the secret drop and all of them committing to the lower the drop. And here they come. <laughs> Astralis galloping up to the top side. And that's a shot. Go on, Chris, win the round. Magisk does manage to keep it 2v2. Bomb needs to go down thanks to Zipex. This has been a really frustrating round for Mouse to play against. Magisk missing the timing. Frozen hitting the shot. And it falls to Magisk. Only seven frags. These last two, though, could be everything. Frozen was holding it and they will win the half. Four across. Rops is the 
unknown entity. And oh, Device knew what was up. Into the low site, though, and Dupree tapping away at a couple. Pressure coming his way, Ooh. and oh, they free fire that so hard. Close the door behind you, young man. Oh, Bemis has opened the door. Finally, they find Dupree on his retreat, and now they've got control. Mouse, four on four. Bomb planted. Carrigan gets it down, despite Magis spotting him out. And it's an important duel to win here, Magis. He knows he's vulnerable to the decon swing. Needs to knock Carrigan off his perch. Oh, that's beautiful. A double. And I think Bemis knows his days are numbered. Needs to find Zipex. Has done so. On the bomb. A kit. No kit. You're right. And if he just takes it, he's practically gaming them here. Magis has no HP and he's lined it up perfectly. He's looking to deny the 10 second defuse. Magis still holding it and device babysits. Well handled by them and just by the smallest of margins. You can see one bullet would have been enough to take Magisk out and they will be able to invest in because of the plant and their buy looks good. It looks better. They do have an... Ooh. <laughs> Okay, Dever. The Chris was mad at the end of last round. Imagine now. Yeah, that's going to really salt the wound. He's got 29 HP. Poor Ropsy after finding the equalizer. He baited in by the low HP Beamer Strafe. He's going to do his best, of course. And then the hell full HP of the other two. Well, Beamer doesn't last long. Magisk, more tests. Carrigan, next on the list. He's handled this with beauty, with class. Frozen's on the site. He's very low. 5 HP. Shouldn't be much more now with a fully locked in squad as Zipex's nade is there. Outside, and they want to contest it. The CT's bringing the fight. The nade indicates they're coming. Frozen, however, has handled the first with brilliance. The bomb's loose in yard. Dupree still sticking around. He's managed to find a good line of sight. A dunk from Zipex. The nade is good. This is suppressing fire of a different breed. Util dropped. They're trying to get across, but are they ready for Dupree? Elevated position as well. Finding one would secure them the round. They've only got 20 seconds and they've got been given nothing. Absolutely nothing. Here they come. And Rops finding one. Zipex looks away just for the second he needed to. Dupree, a crucial frag. But Chris J's got the one necessary. Now he can get that bomb down. They've got 10 seconds. Device is in a position to deny it. It'll have to be a plant front of sight. Five, four. That's the shot he had to hit. Round one. Rops can't do anything. And that is quite the clutch. Stylish as you like. A single deagle bullet puts the 11th on the board for Astralis. Oh, hi, Robs. Glaive reveals himself. What is that? Zimpex Kratos trying to unload his mag. Eight seconds. They want to deny the plant. But Chris J's oh. got it and Robs punishes. Device, not another deagle round. This time, he'd need a lot more than just the one. Oh, and he's taken off Rob's his head. That was the hard part. It's only Chris dropping the AWP. Wants the shot, but he can't hit it. Can't connect it. The Dutchman with three HP pulls a must win out of the bag. And that's the first T round for Mouse. They can go towards that top site and Zipex is aware of that. He's holding the slither gap to confirm main presence. And they do flood into warehouse. What a shot from Zipex. Jesus. The fact of it, he has three presented with rifles and he manages to pluck one out from the crowd is phenomenal. Five rounds Astralis have started this CT side with, but breaking the force. Oh. And nice on the recovery. Rops was there to punish. He tried to pick up the AK, and now they have an advantage again. Dupree's Deeg, no slouch on it if he finds Rops. Oh, and he even finds Frozen. Now he hears the steps. He knows there's one towards the site, knows there's one towards main. Oh, and oh my Dupree's God. Deagle is unstoppable. And that's another heartbreaker handed to Mouse on a silver platter. It looks like Rops has gone for one of his old tricks. We've seen this one plenty of times from Ropsy Boy. The nade, the smoke, and then the play with the oh, opening yes. kill. Dupree, you were the hero. Now you're dead. You're going to have to sit back and watch as your teammates try and claw this one together. Frozen's taken space Ooh. and another scalp. Mouse spots. They didn't give up after being rocked. It actually spurred them forward. They're more aggressive. Yeah, I mean, look at the fact that they've got two low sight and the bomb still T-spawn. I mean, my God, <laughs> this is just going to be frags. Everyone's winning their independent jewels. It's Rops, though, with the double. He's got up to his usual antics around that squeaky vent. Now they're working with a little bit more cash. Glaive with 3.3. Vegas with 2.4. They just thought that maybe a lot more had dropped down secret. That was the persistence towards lobby and info. And Glaive wants to continue on that side of the map. Rops will finish him off. He's even going to grab a second. They're forcing forward. They're finding frags, but they've been mopped on up. It's just device to find any impact. And all in all... It'll be a clean one here as Mauser put 12 on the board. Those two operating with the rifle devices, almost going to be a one and done. He's tucked in. Frozen. Is he ready for this? No, he's not. Position for Magus is now known. 
Still, the ramp lean. Molotov towards ladder base. That's going to give up the indication of at least where one is. Vice went down early. Look at this. If they go for a ramp play, he could not be in a better spot. They don't even have a molly for his position. They have to shoot him. Okay, so Vice readies himself. And Chris wins the duel. Two now two. we're talking. That's what Mouse were hoping for. And now the bomb needs to be stopped. Oh, and it Chris. can't be. Chris is having a round. Doesn't matter his HP. He just can't miss. Brought down from three to two. He's got three frags as well. Could be a bit of a disaster for them. They might even have to concede the 14th while they take a bit of a save. Bomb goes off, 13-13. Lost bonus of 2,900. 30 seconds as they start their push for the lower site. Smoke will fade. Dupree has the door and no one's visible. Does confirm as the bomb's going down. Rops is visible and oh, Dupree, that's a big find. Making it all the more difficult for Frozen now as he's been spotted, I think, just before the flash pop. Dupree can molly him. Dark's about to get very hot. Frozen's forced out. Oh. Nearly lines him up. Chris, it's not a plan for you, but you've been having such a performance. You got anything more for me? Nades. And another. He's trying to evade it. Oh, Chris J just popping off. He needs one more and he takes it by force. Chris J will not go down, but with a whimper, Astralis are shut down by the Netherlands representative. That's crazy stuff. And now, Mousebots have been given another gift by Robs. Oh, look at Device. Yeah. He's across secret. This could be nuts. Does he have it? He's in so tight. He has got a real opportunity here. A golden opportunity. And the shotgun. Oh, gets my God. Ball. A massacre onto Mouse. After the heroics of Chris, Device steps up to the play, positioning. Gives him the round. And Dupree confirms it. They're taking it in turns for the hero plays here. Could be enough to take us into overtime or... Take us to a third. Here comes the push. Glaive's got one. Astralis making it awkward now, but in comes the frags. It's frozen. Beamus. Glaive takes initiative, but so does Chris J. It's a 3v2 now. Danes on the back foot. Could Mouse Sports take Astralis' pick against them here in regulation? It looks good. Chris J getting the bomb down. Zipex closing in from lobby. Device sweeps in. Tetris from Rops. He'll take a cursory glance. It would require a flick of the wrist from Device. Chris J posted up and gets the frag. It looking good. Mouse Sports. Taking Astralis' pick against them unless Zipex can come up clutch. Often a clutch prefix, not today. That's a full 30. Mouseport weather the storm of Astralis and we're going to three. Series keeps on delivering a very close one. Carrigan keeps the mojo flowing. Chris J, a clutch that we will never forget. Trying to get out of dodge. Getting swung on. He's done well to evade it's all of that hunting. And they're coming in with a four-man stack. Astralis are actually on the right place at the right time. And the nades are doing damage now. Glaive's holding them at the arm's length. Starting to advance now. Glaive's made this so much work. Finally, Rops, a war of attrition. One, Carrigan caught off. And two oh. for Magisk. Nearly on to Bemis as well, but it's not done just yet. Bomb's loose. Dupree's working on the banana push. But look how passive they're playing there. They're not giving Beamus anything to move. And look what happens when you do. He's hit the goosh, wants to apply some pressure, and that's it. That's their exit strategy. They don't have the bomb, but they now know that the majority likely are on that B site. Rops will drop a weapon. Four bullets. Zipex has a full 12. Now reloading the clip. God. Peeking into Mouseport's aim is scary stuff, and you can see why Rops manages to make it a 2v2 now. This was a four versus two. And these boys, Bemis and Rops, more than oh. capable, taps away at the head. They know where Magisk is. He hits it and he knows the other's there, tagging him away. Oh, and Magisk just makes a pistol round statement with just the one HP to spare. He saves his team from a catastrophe. Feels like a B, looks like a B, and five members of Mouse about to flood in. Zipex has an M4, he has to get good use out of this, has to get value and has. Taking down the first two, it was actually Glaive through the smoke that makes it even more awkward. They was isolated by the Molotov and Zipex. This is exactly what they asked of you. Giving him the M4 has paid dividends. Now device tanked by the scout does want to get away and let the hell of Zipex finish the job. Perfect triple kill from him. Drive it home onto A, but up they go. Smoke up middle. Device smoked off. Quad very fast. Magus, he's got to do some damage. More nades coming in. Into the site goes Bemis and he's looking for a frag. He's found Dupree. They found some space. Astralis are held at bay. They have to play around the smokes. Magus is still alive in the pit right now. It's Dupree up to, excuse me, Device up to, he's just on the Vespa. Finally gets knocked off it. 
Ooh, a bonus. Magis gets to keep hold of his smoke, and Zipex has actually burned one down. Bemus does not manage to save himself. Christo, with just 17 HP, jumps into the flames. That's a double kill on the Zipex Molly. You rarely see something get so much value. Can he finish the job, though? He's just walking up through the smoke. There's a wide swing. Can't hold, and now mouse sports. Heavy rotation from Astralis coming, too. Ooh, Magisk a bit indecisive, and it could cost him. They're pushing everything. He's going to find Dupree on short, and it is Frags favoring Astralis. Only Frozen and Rops remaining, and caught on the wall bang. Magisk has done great work, great value out of his position there. He tags up Frozen. Unconfirmed damage. Astralis have, have kept the pace change completely under lock and key, and it is going to be another clean round from Astralis. Four bodies left standing. They might grab a couple of AKs if they can reach. Can't in time. People smoke onto the balcony. Looks like we're about to get this one underway. Yep, it's a full five-man commitment into four. And Rob's using that smoke. He's throwing it so precisely. He has the one-way Zipex. That damage, that destruction, that's against two of the better weapons. Rob's is still holding out hope for a device frag, and with one click of his mouse, he finds it. Short-lived celebrations. It seems Dupree plans to win the round right there. There's only 45 seconds left, and there's two towards Banana, and now two coming back from second mid. They need to clear this, and they can't. Okay. So with 20 seconds, they have to be coming. Zipex knows all he needs to do is just slow them down, and unloading his magazine in the flash device does catch one late arrival from Banana. There's Rops to come as well. Oh, good shot. Rops delivers space and a chance. Two versus four. The nade damage is so great. He managed to avoid spraying down Frozen's one HP remaining, so... The two of them, the highest fraggers from the squad on Nuke, looking to clutch up against all odds. And Glaive's been ooh, brought down to five. It's not low enough. Frozen does have an AWP, but it doesn't get him far enough. Rops needs to clutch. Glaive's low, and he can't hit the shot. Great stuff. They've got time. Astralis will make an eighth. Easy, Deve. Frozen's peeked into him, and not bad from Frozen to have such a tight line. Against the Orper, he brings him down to 27. It's just not enough, though. Needed to be the kill. Chris J's working on the flank. Device can hear him. He's just hoping that this is enough. Pre's called off guard. Yeah, he can handle this. Gets the first. Carrigan, though, has been spotted. That's the bomb on his back. Unless Carrigan's got a smoke for Pit. Magisk might not be able to contribute so much anymore. Crossfire established. They're coming up short. Device doesn't miss. Magisk reveals, and the crossfire is just perfect. Rops hits a banger. He's finished off nicely. So, triple kill from Device on that site. That puts mid to B in question, but there's going to be a huge gap. He's blocked it. yeah. And now Chris burning. There's two mollies there. Device hits the shot. Suddenly, again, Astralis have taken the early lead. Is he really peeking into that? That was crazy stuff. Carrigan already walked up, but a double from Magisk materializes. He's under a lot of pressure, even nading himself in that. But Frozen and Rops, things getting awkward for them, and Magisk makes it even more so. Catches another. Where the bomb is now. Yeah. How does Frozen win this? There's no way in for him. Here's the reload. No, Magisk has got himself a fresh mag. Could get the graveyard angle, certainly. That's the first. Glaive and Zipex coming up from middle. Frozen has 10 seconds, so the bomb plant is... He faked out. He wanted a frag, and he does oh, get it onto Dupree. Just as, just need to continue with the pace, continue with the in-your-face counter-strike as Chris J. He steps up to the plate. Device on the other side, and well, Device hits him for six. He's going to get traded. Carrigan's fantastic to take that room, take that space. And now over to what day they go, knowing only two defenders are there, they can have a two on four. Dupree, solid start. Making things awkward for Rops, and oh, wow, more than awkward. He's actually going to nearly tag out B Bemus. Down to 61 on the bomb retrieval. Carrigan working on his apps push and low. Bemus. All too aware of the potential for a flank, Carrigan too. Oh, Glaive punishing him here. So quick. Look at this. How did he clock that? See you later. Immediately saw them pull, falling back and just sweeps into middle for a free double frag. The setup is so strong. And this time, Rops wins his duel. Bemis into the site. Device ducks, but Bemis hits the necessary headshot. Finally, looks like Mouser got oh. this one, but Dupree with a dunk. Oh, and he's taken another. 
It's not great. They suddenly lose all of that 3v3, falling to Chris J once again now. Uh, sorry, Chris. You're going to have to run through this, mate. And Zipex isn't holding it, so he's actually giving him the plan. Unless he pushes fast, he is so quick. A nice pace from a Zipex there. It doesn't quite deny the plan. Chris is happy to at least... He wants to try and drop his smoke as fast as he can towards library side. Or Lurk smoke Balk as well. Mouse sports, you're in all the right places. Molly forces Rops into the corner. Oh no. I need a flash. Oh, oh no. it's such a good flash. It's not the double they needed because Chris J's just taken over. What? what was that? His flashbang and his fragging has given them the second round. Bemis just confirms the formality of it all, but I want to see that one again, please. Hemorrhaged the walking wounded Glaive and Magus go over towards outside leads Glaive. Dupree's with him. Dupree's found the head of Chris. So they've leveled things up. There is a chance for them to swarm over towards the A-bomb site. The arch smoke is an indication that at least they're having a look in. And Glaive's trying to wrap. That smoke's going to deny Glaive a lot of info. And you don't want to be grey screen walking through. It does feel like that's the cruel reality of it all. Bemis confirms he was looking that way. 20 seconds. They're going to have to disrespect that Molly. Yeah, Dupree's just lost half of his health on the push, but it doesn't stop him getting the frag. Astralis get two into the A site. And despite the early damage being inflicted, they're all sitting there on half health, but the, the bomb goes down all the same. And it's not a retake you can win with MP9s. That might be the difference between winning or losing a round. There's some damage from Carrigan. How much more can he get? Continuing forward, good for the stats, but... Eventually taken out by Glaive. Bomb goes off. Oh, plans are different. Okay, I thought it was a default plan. That would have hurt. He's even got a lineup, has he? Yeah, love to see it. Frozen's going to be forced off of that one. Oh, it's not quite as good as it should have been, but it is enough to certainly show the presence. Carrigan hasn't moved. And so the A hit's coming in and the CTs are in the right place. This time, however, Carrigan's gone down early. Rob's playing anti-flash. He's holding the line perfectly, looking for the rifle upgrade. That's the frags they wanted to avoid, though. Dupree and Glaive will be seeing the bomb down in the last few seconds to spare. I think four on the clock as that one is extended. Device jiggled out by Frozen, and now, oof, lovely. They've started off this 2v3 with the necessary first, but it, all it takes is Glaive, and this is done. Astralis, that's dominant. That's huge. A 16-3 to thrashing puts Astralis in the upper bracket playoffs. Comfortable. Now Sport's going to have to keep this one up. Going to have to show us more of that nuke as they battle bond in the lower bracket.